This is practice help for the primo part of Skateboard Boogie, the duet from Jazz Rags and Blues for Two, duet book number two. All right, and first I'm just going to play it straight through for rhythm reference. So this is kind of what you're aiming for after you've been practicing um, when you're getting close to performance time. Now I'm going to go back through it and kind of stop and explain all of the tricky parts. All right, the first thing to notice is at the very beginning we are mezzo piano, so you don't want to be too loud here even on those staccatos. It's a fun song and it's lively, but you want to kind of hold back a little bit and don't really bang out forte on these keys. All right, so we've got our one on high C, F A C E in the treble clef, and then your left hand is also in the treble clef, so we're not down low below middle C, we're up closer to your right hand up here above middle C, and your left hand one is on A, F, A, C, E. So we're starting with a second and a third, so watch out for that. Make sure that you're not doing both seconds or both thirds, they're different. All right, so we've got hold, two, three, four, and then some staccatos, so make sure you bounce, make them kind of separated sounding. in measure five, there's a flat now, so watch out for your flat, hold, two, three, four, bounce, bounce, half, note, back to the white key, natural, E, one, two, three, four, bounce, bounce, half, note, then there's a rest, and we're going to have a little move right here, the left hand two is going to play A sharp, so that's above where your thumb is. Instead of playing where we are or playing this black key, we're going to go up higher. That's our new spot. So up to A sharp. Your right hand stays where it was. One, two, and three, four. And we are forte here also. Watch out for those dynamics. We've been medium soft all the way up until this part, so this should be suddenly a little bit louder. You're going to hear the difference. Rest, two, and three, four. And then the next measure, if you look closely at those left hand notes, they are different. We're not staying on A sharp. We're going to move down to G sharp. And your thumb moves as well. It's playing A right next to your G sharp. All right, so this is measure 10, the second one in the third line. Rest, two and three, and bounce. And there's another move there. Two and three and four. And the right hand is going to move down to put your four on high C where your thumb was. So one more time. Put your four where your thumb was. Four and one swap places. And then rest, 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 rest. Now we've got an octave. Now if you're learning this song in sections, that's probably where you want to stop for your first section. Get real comfortable with the moves between measures 9 and 11. And then when you're ready, you can move on to measure 12. Okay, so moving forward, this is an octave stretch from G to G. And we really want to get the slur and the staccatos here. It should be smooth, bounce, bounce. So one, two, and three, four. 
Okay, and then in measure 13, you're going to let your right hand come up to where your top finger is. We're moving up to that high C position that we started at. So that big stretch was just a temporary thing. All right, we're back here. And then your left hand left off right here. We're going to move it also. It's coming up to put your two on A. It's not going very far. It's just one tiny little scoot. So two is on A. Watch out for your rhythm there. That's one and two and three, four. One and two and three and four and. Make sure you're holding that half note long enough. All right, and then the same thing in the next measure. One and two and three and four and. Now for this one, watch out for that thumb. It's not on B. We're gonna stretch it up for the C, high C right there. And then your right hand has a sharp, and remember that sharps remain sharp for the entire measure. So every time we play D in this measure, it's going to be that black key D sharp again. One and two and three and four and one. And now we have another move. We're going to move to put your one on E. That's where your three finger was, up to E. And then your four is going to give a little stretch and hit the B flat. Bounce half note. Right, now we're moving back with the right hand, back to where we've been at for most of this song on high C. And we've got a flat here and a sharp in the left hand. Lots of accidentals in this little jazzy duet. All right, so flat, sharp, one and two and three and four and, holding the half note again. One and two and three and four and. Now the right hand doesn't have to move. D sharp is the same as E flat. That's the same note we've been playing. You will need to bring that four down just a little bit for your next note. Three sharp, and then the four plays the E right next to it. All right, and the left hand is also different. We need a B with your two finger. All right. Hey, get real comfortable with those. <laughs> That'll be section number two. And then when you're ready, you can move on to measure 21. This will be your next section. All right, so in measure 21, the right hand is playing an F sharp. The last thing your forefinger did was down here. We were kind of squeezed in. So now we're stretching back out into a C position and we're gonna put our four on F sharp. The left hand, is going to move a tiny little scoot down for A sharp with your two and B with your one. That's one and two and three and four. Make sure we're slur bounce. We want slurs and staccatos there, smooth and then bounce. Rest and then G sharp A, F, E flat, and C. So G sharp is where your two is. That's lower than the last measure. We're moving down. And then your four had a sharp before. It's coming back to the white key. And now we've got a flat on your E. One and two and three and four. That's very similar to what we did on the other page. You should remember that one from before. Two and three and four. And the same move here. We're bringing the four down to C again. Two, three, four, rest. Right, now, two's already on G. Five needs to come up to this G. Back to your home base for this song starting position. Five on G. Rest and two and three and four and. So all staccatos right there. And we've been playing fortissimo. This whole line was very loud. Fortissimo. Now here we have a decrescendo, or a diminuendo. We're going to be getting gradually softer. One, two, and three, four. And back to the beginning because D, C, all coda. And now we're mezzo piano again on that beginning note. And you'll play through your first two lines and then we have a coda. The coda is gonna skip you ahead to the ending. So we're nearly done now. When you get to the coda, there's a rest and then we're going forte again, and it's just like what you did in measure nine. We're gonna move up to A sharp, two and three, four. Make sure you hold it. Rest, down to G sharp, get the flat ready. Rest, two and three and four, piano soft. Hold, two, bounce, bounce, 
that's a big move there. Two, bring the thumb back up to high C, and your left hand is also moving. We're gonna move up like we're sharing high C. Two, up, bounce, bounce, hold. Two, flat, sharp, watch out for them. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Two and three and four, tie, tie. We're gonna get gradually slower there for the writ. Three, four, one and two and three, four, tie, two. Rest, rest. All right, make sure you get your dynamics and your tempo changes in.